Military News, The West vs. The Rest Iran and China sign military deal as Tehran prepares Putin agreement. Iran has agreed to carry out joint military exercises with China as Tehran officials are also poised to sign an £8 billion arms deal with Russia. The latest military agreement adds to mounting fears the three nations are bulking up their military might in the face of Donald Trump's election. Tehran and Beijing officials announced that an agreement had been signed on Monday to conduct joint military exercises just the latest step towards deepening military cooperation between the two nations. The military deal, signed by Chinese Defense Minister Chang Wangkin and his Iranian counterpart General Hossein Degan, was agreed to help create a collective movement against terrorism and is an upgrade in long-term military and defense cooperation with China, Iranian media announced. Tehran officials are also weighing up an £8 billion arms deal with Putin, which would include a new batch of planes, helicopters, artillery systems and T-90 tanks being delivered to the Islamic Republic. Iran is looking to bolster its military capacity ahead of Trump's inauguration as the US president in January after he promised to tear up the Iran deal signed by Obama. Trump dubbed the agreement, signed by the US and four other nations to ease sanctions on the Middle Eastern nation in return for a scaling down of nuclear testing, as the stupidest deal of all time and a one-sided transaction where we are giving back $150 billion to a terrorist state. The deal signed by President Obama has strained relations between the White House and Israel, threatening to further disrupt the region. Trump has also risked angering China during his presidential campaign as the Republican threatened to slap 45 percenter tariffs on Chinese imports and accused the communist state of raping the U.S. economy. Following a conversation with the president-elect, Chinese Premier Xi Jinping claimed the two leaders had clear sense of mutual respect. The communist leader added, the facts prove that cooperation is the only correct choice for China and the United States. Putin has also hinted a new chapter in Russian-US diplomacy could be about to start with the election of Donald Trump. The Russian leader said we heard Trump's campaign rhetoric while still a candidate for the US presidency, which was focused on restoring the relations between Russia and the United States. We understand and are aware that it will be a difficult path in the light of the degradation in which, unfortunately, the relationship between Russia and the US are at the moment. Iran, China Sign Military Cooperation Agreement Iran and China are reportedly slated to hold joint military drills in the near future. Iranian Defense Minister Hossein Degan and his Chinese counterpart, Chang Wangkin, signed an agreement on November 14 pledging closer military cooperation in a number of areas including military training and counter-terrorism operations. Both sides also pledged to hold joint military exercises in the near future. The Chinese defense minister arrived in Tehran on Sunday for a three-day visit. Chang Wangkin expressed confidence that Iran-China defense ties will be strengthened in the years ahead. The upgrading of relations and long-term defense military cooperation with China is one of the main priorities of the Islamic Republic of Iran's defense diplomacy. Iran's defense minister said, according to the Tehran Times. We assess the visit of the Chinese defense minister in line with this Iran's defense diplomacy he added. Iran-China defense ties have progressively grown stronger in the last couple of years. In 2014, for the first time ever, Iranian and Chinese navies held a joint naval drill in Persian Gulf waters. This was preceded by a visit of Iranian warships the destroyer Savalan and the helicopter carrier Karg to the port city of Zhangjiagong port in Jiangsu province in China in 2013. In 2014, a first ever visit of an Iranian navy chief to China occurred discussing anti-piracy cooperation and humanitarian assistance slash disaster relief operations among a range of other issues. Furthermore, in October 2015, the Deputy Chief of Staff of the People's Liberation Army Navy, Plan, Admiral Sun Jiangguo, met with Hossein Degan to lay the groundwork for deeper future military cooperation. As I noted elsewhere, China and Iran maintained close military-to-military -military contacts throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Among other things, China helped Iran boost its anti-access-slash-area denial, a2 or AD, capabilities by selling tactical ballistic and anti-ship cruise missiles E. 
Jihai-2 Silkworm anti-ship missiles, advanced anti-ship mines, and Hudong fast attack boats, equipped with anti-ship missiles, to the Islamic Republic. China also provided technical expertise to Iran by, for example, helping develop Tehran's indigenous NASR anti-ship cruise missile. Chinese design and technology can be seen in many Iranian missile series, from the short-range Agab and Naziat missiles to the long-range Shehab 3, a 2012 RAND study explains. Beijing moreover offered assistance to Iran's nuclear program by training Iranian nuclear engineers and helped Iranian master uranium exploration and mining. Between 2000 and 2002, China also delivered a number of C-14 catamaran missile boats, but, as a Jamestown Foundation briefing notes, the arms relationship essentially ended by 2005. However, defense ties appear to be on the upswing again. As I reported in 2015, China allegedly has agreed to sell 150 J-10 multi-role fighter jets to Iran. The deal has neither been confirmed nor denied by officials in either country and is likely only to happen, if at all, following the lifting of the UN arms embargo on the sale of offensive weapons systems in 2020. Deeper ties between China and Iran are a worrisome development for U.S. military planners given the burgeoning A2 or AD capabilities of the Iranian and Chinese militaries and the danger they pose to U.S. military assets in both the Middle East and Asia.